Hey there, I am Trash, and we are going to shake it now. Let's start with the top games as usual. What do we have prepared today? Yes, it is time for the bloodiest games. I have chopped up piles of meat, so let's get started. Every self-respecting gamer has surely played the alien shooter at least once. Though the game is an isometric 2D arcade game released long ago in 2003, it did not lose its edge over the years. Your task is very simple. Clear dark corridors, laboratories, and storage areas out of hordes of aliens using hundreds of intricate ways. In a matter of seconds, countless crowds of opponents will turn into tons of meat and blood just covering the screen. Kawaii Killer is an incredibly fun and bright arcade game where you will need to cut cute forest animals just like in Fruit Ninja. But every animal requires a special approach. You can smash a fox and cut a hare in half, but in order to kill a skunk without touching it so as you don't get stinky, you need to circle it with your finger to choke it off. The game is incredibly well done, cheerful, and puts you in a good mood. All of our viewers have probably heard about this Surgeon Simulator. It is too bloody to pass by our top games just like this. It is always so much fun to fiddle with somebody's intestines, especially if it is your first surgery and you're unable to hold everything you have close at hand. Something could be lost, and this might make you open up a chest not with a hammer, but with a pencil or a phone. Postal Postal has always been considered to be the cruelest game of my childhood the burning of thousands of innocent citizens, using a cat as a silencer, and other abominations made every part of the sequel easy to remember. So what you are going to do in the first part of an official port is, well, to kill. To kill lots and as cruelly as possible. Kill police officers first so they don't try to stop you from torturing peaceful citizens. Since I was a boy, I never really liked simple racing games always needed a good story or reason for competing on various tracks, but everything changed with the release of Carmageddon. Now every player has his own way to win. While someone's trying hard to get to the finish, the other is trying to destroy all their rivals, and somebody else likes to flatten hundreds of life forms to get an absolute victory. Heh, who could be brighter than a world you observe through a blood-red windshield? For those who have a weak device or just want to play something good that might have been forgotten or missed. I invite you to go forward to the past. Well, I say invite, but in fact, you don't really have a choice. If you're looking for a funny adventure quest with incredible graphics, I want to remind you about a wonderful game called Lily. Here you visit a mysterious magic island to find the remnants of civilization there. Having met the wooden inhabitants of the island, you will need to solve puzzles complete tasks, and fight against spirits getting on their back and rooting harmful plants. During the game, you will play interesting mini-games and upgrade your hero's abilities in order to cope with harder tasks and bosses. And now, let's continue with Dessert Game of the Week. Of course, the Game of the Week is one long awaited by everyone, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade Reload is one of the most anticipated platformers of this year and the reason is quite clear. Nice graphics, simple gameplay, and an interesting plot. You're going to play as the last ninja of an ancient clan destroyed by ruthless enemies. You will need to avenge the death of your brothers and bring back relics of your people in order not to disappear. You will learn about new plot details through comics during the seven chapters of the game. From the very first second, you will see that the system of controls is not difficult and the time counter and records will make you want to play this game again and again. Besides, you can craft your own levels and compete in them too. And now let's see what will be released in Android in the nearest future. Do you remember an awesome clone of Gears of War called Shadowgun? Well, Madfinger Games has moved beyond that and has already presented a trailer for the almost finished Shadowgun Legends. You might notice that Shadowgun looks a little different. This is not a third-person game anymore, but a first-person actioner where enemies resemble an alien threat rather than mercenaries. Rumor has it that we will play as bounty hunters just like before, while the game still offers character upgrades and customization. Just like before, the game offers network battles, this time with crafting, quests, guilds, and even joint raids. 
how this all turns out, we are set to know in the fourth quarter of this year. Well, to end things off, let's cheer up with an interesting trash game. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Today, we have a game based on an Indian movie. Please forgive me that I did not prepare by watching the Akira movie in order to learn about the hero in Akira the Game. She does not really look like a hero, though there is something heroic in this game. At first sight, we play as an office secretary fighting bruisers. At second glance, nothing changes and the shock starts to grow. And at third sight, you are playing a trashy Indian fighting game with a stupid smile on your face, having completely forgotten about Mortal Kombat. Akira the Game is a real hardcore trash game that I recommend you to play to cheer up. That's all for today. Share this video with your friends, download games from our site for free, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See ya!